We begin with that scary close call for U2 frontman Bono. One of the doors falling off his private jet mid-flight. ABC's Gio Benitez is here as the latest. Good morning, Gio. Oh, good morning, Robin. It was scary. That door falling off right in the middle of the flight. Bono on board with four friends and this morning surviving what could have been a catastrophic disaster. He's used to flying high as the lead singer of U2. It's a beautiful day. But this morning, Bono is just thankful to be alive. After a cargo door on a private Learjet he was traveling on detached from the plane, falling 8,000 feet in the air, luggage flying out. The Irish rocker and four friends were almost at the end of a two-hour flight from Dublin to Berlin on a Learjet 60 like this one, heading to Berlin to accept a Bambi Entertainment Award tonight. But like a pro, the superstar didn't miss a beat after the incident, meeting with a government minister later that day. And while in the movies where a detached plane door spells disaster, experts tell us in real life the situation on that plane was less risky. The passengers were not in jeopardy on this airplane. If the pressurization wasn't compromised, the airplane was flying well, there's really no reason to turn around and go back. The pilots reportedly noticed a rumble similar to turbulence on approach, but felt no change in how the plane was flying. It was only when they landed that they discovered that the door and luggage were missing. But the midair drama was probably something the star could have lived with or without. With or without you. All right, so we had some fun with the songs. U2 is set to perform at the Bambi Awards tonight. And Bono had arrived a day early to meet with the German Minister of Economic Cooperation and Development. But guys, I can't even imagine being on a plane. At least he didn't know that door was falling off. Oh, that's, that's incredible. Harder to imagine. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, Gio, thank you.